What happens when an NFL franchise has to declare for bankruptcy only two months before the season begins? We were never supposed to make it here. From the very beginning, we were doubted. All of these players have been doubted and ridiculed all throughout their careers. And being given one last chance, each individual set out to prove everyone wrong. Not to say we haven't had our struggles leading up to this point, but everything this team's ever gone through, everything this team's worked for, comes down to this. We're not stopping until we complete the biggest Cinderella story in sports history. Welcome to the Rejects Madden 19 Franchise Series, Playoff Bound. Now I do what I want, 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 now I do what I want. Never in a million years did I expect to make it this far. But here we freaking are. The AFC Conference Championship game. The 11-5 Kansas City Chiefs travel to Dublin as we play host to the Kansas City Chiefs today as the winner of this game purchases their ticket to the Super Bowl. The rejects potentially in the Super Bowl. Who would have ever thought that this was a possibility, but we turn dreams into reality here in Dublin as we're one win away and we're here to finish business. We're here to do the dang thing as your shamrocks. We're gonna go all out today, show off that Dublin shamrock heart that we've displayed all season long and show off that talent doesn't mean anything when you have a team of 50 plus gentlemen, a team of 50 plus absolute legends. Show that if you can play for the man next to you, anything can happen. Now of course, after his incredible performance last week in the divisional round against the Cincinnati Bengals, Josh Gordon did win the player of the episode in the first ever playoff game in team history. He's up to a 91 overall, but with that confidence boost, which is going to prove to be vital today in the playoffs in the AFC Championship game, he is up to a 93 overall. And we need to stop calling it Defensive Player of the Episode. We just need to start calling it the Hayes Pullard Award. As once again, he was voted your Defensive Player of the Episode for last game against the Bengals in the divisional round, as he is now up to an 82 overall. And also with that plus two confidence boost, does boost him up temporarily to an 84. You guys have to remember, week eight, we traveled to Kansas City, and we did beat the Chiefs by 10 points in their home stadium. Now we take them on today. We host them at Clover Field in Dublin, Ireland. As the words have never been truer before, the fact that there is a huge talent difference today, the Kansas City Chiefs, the most talented team in the NFL at this point at an 88 overall. The only team that stands in our way of our first ever Super Bowl appearance in team history. We made it this far. We're proud of the team for what we've accomplished up to this point. It's been a Cinderella season, but screw a Cinderella season if you can't finish the season by holding up that Lombardi trophy. Oh, boys, here we go. The most important game and the biggest game in Dublin Shamrock history. The 11-5 Kansas City Chiefs traveling to Dublin to take on your 11-5 Dublin Shamrocks in the AFC Championship game, who would have thought? And it's a snowy Dublin, Ireland, as we've never played in these sort of conditions before. This is going to be an absolute freaking barn burner as your Shamrocks coming out to a snow-covered clover field. What is this game going to entail? We've made it this far. We cannot stop before we make it to the Super Bowl. Now, on the other side, the Giants and the Saints are going to be one of the teams making it to the Super Bowl, but screw them. All that matters today is Kansas City, and all that matters today is getting the biggest ever dub win in team history. Gotta make it happen. Gotta do the dang thing again today. Come on, boys. First down and 10 to start off this ball game. No mistakes, my friends. Little dump off. There has never been a more worse start ever on the first play of the AFC Championship game. Tua overthrows a drag route. Ryan Shazier picks it off and brings it back for a pick six. 
it could not have started any worse. The worst possible scenario you could come up with your head just happened. This is not the two-up we need today. Well, after that, the nerves are extremely real. But there reaches a point in everybody's life where you have to have the balls to overcome those nerves and have them not affect your performance by any standards. I actually can't freaking believe that happened. Honest to God, can't believe that freaking happened. He's got to put it behind. It's 7 nothing. We're behind. Give the ball to our team captain, Dalton. First down. That's what we need to do today. Tua has never had to throw in the snow before in his whole entire life. So today, maybe you run the ball 60 times a game. Whatever it takes to come out of here with a dub win. So we got sacked in the prior play. And man, this should be freaking illegal. Because it's hard to see the Kansas City Chiefs jerseys. Their white jerseys with the snow. Like, it's just difficult. But anyways, Justin Black, he's going to be open. An overthrow from Tua. This is not the Tua that we saw last episode in the divisional round. That Tua was dropping dimes. And this Tua... I honestly would rather have a GOAT playing quarterback. An actual GOAT. Like an actual physical, like, animal. You know what I'm saying? Third down and 22, bros. We have got to try and pick this up. Get sacked. Literally, nobody to throw to. Justin Houston, the veteran linebacker with the sack. This has been, I mean, this is awful. Absolutely freaking awful. Pick six in the first play of the game and two consecutive sacks. I have to punt the football and get the ball to one of the best quarterbacks in the league, if not the best quarterback in the league at this point, Pat Mahomes. 98 overall. Not good. Not freaking good. Pat Mahomes, 4,000 yards, 36 touchdowns, only 11 interceptions. He didn't play too well against us in week 8, but screw a week 8. This is completely different already because we're down 7 nothing. They haven't even touched the ball yet. Gotta have a momentum shift in this drive. Cannot allow the Chiefs to score any points. We need our defense to come up with a big play here. Get a huge turnover to shift the tides here. But right in the middle, Kareem Hunt. Picks up about three yards. Second down and seven. Got everybody covered. Pressure, eventually. Okay, Hayes Pullard, that's not ideal. Hayes Pullard just ran completely away from the guy to allow him to be wide open. And not only that happened, they get a first down. Daddy Nicholas just got injured. Daddy Nicholas has been a super consistent player for us this season, so hopefully he's not out for a long amount of time. It's a play action pass. Get to him. Get to Pat Mahomes. We get to him, finally. I thought it was a fumble. Now Frank Zombo's hurt. That's great. That's just freaking god dang fantastic. Daddy Nicholas gets hurt. Our outside linebacker to fill in. Frank Zombo, he gets hurt on the first freaking play. So it looks like we're going to have to be playing with our coaches out at linebacker now because all of them are hurt. Solomon Alimamian is playing outside linebacker now. We were almost there. It's a flag. No, 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 no. Okay, th this is not going to perfection. This is about to be a touchdown. No, it's not, but please be holding or something. That is unbelievable. Un gosh dang believable. That has got to be holding. It's going to be holding. holding. Thank Offense. the Lord. We get saved by another holding call. Mitch Morse, you are my crush right now. I would love for us to be held into a secret bondage of marriage. If we allow a freaking second down to 27. They're running the ball. I'm right there. Another broken tackle, but thank God. I think that's Solomon Elimamian coming in to make the stop in the backfield. Third and 27. The Dublin Shamrock defense that I've learned to love does not give up third downs and 27s. So it's just not going to happen here. It's a screen pass. No way they pick this up, right? Not good. Not good. That's good. Okay, so they got a lot of yards, but it's not going to be a first down. It is a fourth and seven. No way in these conditions they try to kick like a 90-yard field goal. Thank God. They're going to punt it. Currently have negative 12 yards of offense. So we need to do something a little bit differently. Bring an injury archer here. Try to utilize that speed. And here, I think he's going to be able to pick up this first down and a little bit more. Calvin Throck Monster on the outside, leading the blocks down the field. As Archer picks up 21 yards from 99 speed on the outside to Trent Richardson bulldozing over the middle. Let's pick up this first here. Get it over with. He falls forward, but for only one. Third down and one, Laquan McCowan time. It's time for the thick man to step up. One yard. Too easy. Too easy for him. It's going to be first down and 10. Got just enough. So in checks Jalen Hurts for the first time in this AFC Championship game. We need somebody to get hot here. The handoff. Jalen Hurts couldn't block. Nobody can block. Third down. Not good. Oh, man. Here we freaking go. Third down and five. Who's going to be the man to step up? The post. Tua, this, this is the worst, not even close. 
to the worst accuracy I've ever seen from Tua in my existence. Like, this is awful. Like, that honestly was thrown about 30 yards too far in front. So, dudes, we were talking about last episode. Maybe I jinxed them. Last episode was the greatest Tua we've ever seen. This episode, easily the worst. So that brings us into the second quarter. As that first quarter could have not gone any worse. Now, the fact of the matter is, we're only down by seven, so that's good. But if we keep playing like we did in that first quarter, we're going to lose this game by probably triple digits. Second down and six. Come on. Wide open receiver. They're, they're almost in field goal range. Who is going to be the shamrock to come up massively here when we need it the most? Oh my god, Fish missing. That was this close. Oh my god. That was this close to being a pick six. What do you know, freaking Frank Zombo got hurt again. Whitworth with the catch. And if we can see this on a replay, oh my god, dog. That was almost a game changer. Come on, man. Big plays. Somebody. No, it's just, it's not going our way right now. Oh, we had about 17 defenders have a chance to pick that ball off, but now it's a third and goal from the seven. Here it freaking is. Third down and goal for score touchdown. Oh my. Come on, man. That's out of the back of the end zone. Okay. I'm going to hold him to a field goal. 10 to nothing. Obviously, that's not ideal. But at the same time, 14 nothing. That would just suck, wouldn't it? Josh Gordon, please. Tua, throw this in stride. I think this is going to be a catch. Josh Gordon. Oh, great play there from Fuller. Third down and 10. Tua still without a completion up to this point. Bros, we've got to get something going here. At least a first down, please. Nobody's open. Can we get this dot? 0 of 7 passing. This has been the worst offense performance we've had to start a game probably since the preseason. So it's going to have to be our defense, man. This might be the end of this magical season as Kareem Hunt gets tackled in the backfield. Shaquem Griffin ran over that offensive lineman. A three and out here is absolutely vital. Pat Mahomes, the quick pass. No! Pat Mahomes is so good at getting the ball out quick. Third down and 12, man. This is huge. Absolutely massive. Please make this tackle. Thank God. That's Chance Trammell coming up with the stop. They're actually attempting a field goal here. They're attempting a field goal in the snow. This is like a 50-plus yard field goal, at least a 55-yarder. Like, I kind of hope they miss this. Well, obviously, for obvious reasons, but we'll have great field position if they do miss it. I have no idea what the wind is. I just know, like, it must be, like, Category 5 Hurricane. There we go. Because two his passes are so bad. That was, like, the worst field goal attempt I've ever seen in my life, but I'm here for it. We have the ball at midfield. Maybe that's what we needed. Maybe this is what we need. To get things going. Third down and three. Somebody, please. I need a miracle. A little drag to Josh Gordon. Come on, complete this. Tua with a completion. Miracles. Miracles here in double. Denar Robinson, quick little pass. Denar Robinson catches that in stride. This is going to be a first down. Let's not be stupid. Dalton Croissant up the middle. Dalton, that's going to be a first down. 50 seconds to go. I'm going to continue. I'm going to run this ball one more time with Dalton. 40 seconds is plenty of time with three timeouts. Until they can stop me running the football. Dalton again. Okay, they're going to stop me this time. You know what? I'm not going to call a timeout though. 30 seconds is plenty of time. Plenty of freaking time to go here before halftime. You don't have to be in any hurry whatsoever. Come on, to The dimes drop. Dalton with the pass. With the catch. Dalton Croissant. Let's make this. A oh, three points game fine. Your shamrock strike and get right back in this ball game. Mark Herzlick's loving it. Your shamrock faithful is loving it as Dalton. What a man to get into the end zone. It's been an absolute atrocious half. But all that matters is we go into halftime. Only that was cool. Now, that was cool. I've never seen that before. I I've never seen that ever happen in Madden ever. That, that's cool. Maybe we can get a good punt return. That actually is a disgusting punt. Absolutely freaking disgusting. Devin Hester on the return. We might get this to midfield. Devin Hester, cut up field, brother. Okay, so we don't have time for anything else than a Hail Mary. Josh Gordon, if you can make this catch, you will officially be a double Shamrock legend. You're going to be the first ever player's number that we do retire. Okay, let's see. Can Josh Gordon come down with it? Get this throw off. Josh Gordon, he's going to go up. He didn't. It was worth it. 
He's sad. I'm sad. But going into halftime down 10-7 to is so much better than what it could have potentially been because this has been one of the worst halves of football we have played this whole entire season. Oh, it's going to be a long second half, boys, but we're here for it. We've came this far. We're not going out without a fight. So after a first down sack by Hayes, Pullard, and an incompletion on second down, it's a third down and 18. This, is, this would be a magnificent start if we can get off the field here. Throw that all day, every day. I could care less. So with that, we do force a three and out to start this second half. We're going to get the ball back, put that whole entire first half behind us. Well, this drive really hasn't started how I would like. Third down and 11. Let's just keep these freaking chains moving. B is open, but I can't get the pass off. Who is it allowing the sack? Mike freaking Taylor, the young right tackle rookie who just sucks. This is one of those moments. I just have a feeling somebody is about to step up and make a play of a life. It might not be right here, but it's coming soon. I can feel it. I can feel it in my Dublin Shamrock Bones. Gonna bring pressure Pat Mahomes with the completion. Play action pass. Wide open men. That's gonna be number 88. Not gonna lie, not sure who that is, but he makes the catch. Well, Chiefs already at midfield. This is a little bit unfortunate, but we still have 50 yards to make a play. Right here, bringing pressure, come on, he can throw the ball deep. He's about to throw it deep. Hey, can we get a sack? It's been 15 minutes, fine, god dang. Here it is, here's our chance to get off the field. Third down and seven, come on, Shamrock defense. I don't know why I pronounced it like I did, but we did. Chance Tramiel with the bat down. Could have potentially picked that off, but at least we get off the field here. Come on, somebody's gotta step up huge here. Nobody's really made a big play today. We're due for one. That's, that's a good point. That sucks, doesn't it? Dalton needs some breathing room here. There we go. That's what I like. Dalton, nine yards. Give it to you one more time. Let's pick up the first. Dalton, I love you so much. Second down and three this time. Oh, Tua's going to get sacked. He's going to stay up. This this could be incredible. This could be incredible. Tua, going to drop a dime. What a throw, Mr. Throckmorton. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the momentum shift that we needed. Come on, boys. Can we stop? Screwing around. This is not the Dublin Shamrock way. Gotta pick up this third down. Don't even know if we have like one third down conversion the whole entire game. Doesn't matter what we've got. We need it right here. Need it. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't see him. I was about to get sacked and said screw it. Into the fourth quarter. And we are this close to being knocked out one game shy of the Super Bowl. It's been one of our worst performances of the season up to this point. But all that matters is how we finish. If we can finish strong and somehow find a way to get out of here with a dub. With an all-important dub win. That's all that matters. Put the rest of this game behind us. Let's come out to fight here. Put your fours up. Boom! Big hit Hayes Puller. Come on, boys. That's what we need more of. Third down and eight. The Chiefs are going five wide for the first time this game. Got this tight end cover. Come on. The dig. He's pulling. He's pulling. What is wrong with you? It's the second drop pick of the game, but hey, you stopped him. I think they're going to have to attempt this punt. They are going to. So we have seven minutes. We're getting the ball back. Our defense, man, kudos to them. They haven't even allowed a touchdown yet today. Only a field goal. What do you know, man? It's already a third down and five. This is huge. We have got to pick this up. There's nothing. It's going right today. Tua, we're going to scramble. Let this cross your body. Beautiful. Beautiful. Josh Gordon with the catch. That's what we needed. We were this close. This close to going down there. But Tua, with as bad as the game he's had up to this point, kept his eyes downfield. Now he has his eyes set on a double. Throck Monster, why are you running backwards? Why are you running backwards? Why on God's earth were you running all the way back to the other end zone? I was trying to slide there. I, I, I'm so happy that Tua didn't fumble because I was trying to slide. There's a lot of crazy stuff. I, okay, so this is one of those moments where I need to take a second. I need to breathe and just watch what exactly just happened there. So, so I was about to throw it to him, Mr. Throck Monster, Mr. Calvin Throck Morton, but he decides it's a really good idea just to, you know, just start running the other side of the field. Like, I, I'm not sure necessarily where he wanted to end up. Up, up, he's trying to go get some food. So we have players in the middle of our plays trying to uh, run down the tunnel, you know, so I don't know how to feel about that, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. We have receivers falling down. Coach route fell down. 
freaking post route fell down. That's what I was looking to. Chris Jones with the sack. Now we're out of field goal range. We at least got to get like 10 or so yards to try to get this field goal. Got to. No, he's not. Come on. Please, Tua. Please, Tua. This could be it. Finally! Finally! Your shamrocks take a lead in the AFC Championship game. We've been looking for it all game long. And all it takes is one. We are looking to pick up six or so for the field goal. Screw a field goal! Josh Gordon says, give me the football. And that's why he has easily been our player of the season. That defender trying to strip the ball out of his hands the last second. Josh Gordon said, screw you, you stupid freaking prick. As we do take a four-point lead with five minutes to go in the fourth quarter with a Super Bowl berth on the line. Almost missed the extra point. Roberto Aguayo makes it. That's all that matters as long as it was effective. 14 to 10. We have the lead. Let's keep playing defense like we have played up to this point. And we might actually. We might actually do it. We might actually freaking do it. How bad we started this freaking game. Oh man. Four minutes to go though. It's a long time. Oh my god. Why can we not pick the ball off today? That could have been the Super Bowl bird. Nervousness. Third and five. Come on. Got the check down covered. He throws it out of bounds. That's exactly what I would have done, Pat Mahomes. On third and five, the Super Bowl on the line, Super Bowl berth on the line. Instead of just throwing the ball to somebody, throws it out of bounds. So I think now they're going to have to punt the football. And with that beautiful decision, and a very logical decision from Pat Mahomes, we now can begin to chew this clock. Third down and eight. Huge play. This could be another minute and a half, two minutes off clock. Wiped out right here if we can pick this up. Calvin, he's so open. Calvin Throckmorton defying physics on that play as we pick up the first down. So with that, we hit the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go. A Super Bowl berth on the line. AFC Championship on the line. Your Shamrocks and Mark Herzog have two minutes to go to solidify the biggest ever dub win in team history. Now we're up to a third down and nine here. What do we do? Do we force a Tua Tonga Vailoa mistake? Or do we just run the football and chew a timeout? Screw it. We go for it all. We made it this far somehow, some way. We go for it all. And by going for it all, we're going five freaking wide here. Could be a mistake, but screw a mistake. We've already made a ton of mistakes and we're still in the lead. So, I mean, I guess we could maybe make another one. I mean, certainly not, but you, you get what I'm saying. Maybe, I don't know. But third and nine, come on. David Seals is going to be open. Drop this dime, Tua. Tua, he overthrew it. He freaking overthrew it. That could have been potentially the game there. That could have been the game, but Tua's inaccuracy comes back to bite us once again. That makes me so freaking sick. I have to punt the ball. Another Chiefs with two minutes to go, and all three timeouts have a chance to go down the field and win the AFC Championship game. Your Dublin Shamrocks defense has something to say about it. They want to get a turnover quick and end it. Because, number one, my nerves can't take it. Your nerves can't take it. None of their nerves can take it. So let's just get it over with quick. Get a pick that we deserve. We've already dropped like 15 picks today. Got to get one. I'm calling it now. Going down at 10. Who's going to step up and have their names written down in the history books? See some open me. I see another open me. What a play. What a freaking play. Sua Cravens knocks the ball out of the hands of the Kansas City Chief Defender. And with that, it's a fourth down and 10. Now, even if we get this stop, it's not completely over because they do have all three timeouts, but this would be huge. This would be absolutely huge. The chance this is potentially the biggest play in Dublin Shamrock history right here. Fourth down and 10. Who's going to be the man? Who's going to be the man? Come on! He caught it. Oh my God, he actually caught that. Travis Kelsey, no wonder he's a pro bowler. Pat Mahomes with a freaking dime right there. Things are getting serious now. 48 yards to go. 48 yards to bend. 48 yards not to break. Another little pass to the running back. Green play with the catch. 39 yards now, a minute to go. All three timeouts for the Chiefs. I'm a nervous boy, and so is Mark Hersley. Oh, shoot. Who's going to do it? Who is going to come up big here? That's a big hit. We've yet to force a turnover today. No fumbles, no interceptions. We're due for one. Your Shamrocks, the team that has turnovers tattooed on their nipples. They need one here. It's time to shine. They're just throwing checkdowns to the flag, though. Okay, I think we're finally going to catch a break here. I think it's going to be a holding call. Andy 
these check downs are starting to get them. These check downs are starting to make me extremely upset. The play action pass, come on. Don't do me. I dare you, Pat Mahomes. Hey, pressure eventually, please. Come on! As your shamrocks. Oh my god, dog. It was a struggle. But I think we might have actually just freaking done it. We might have just done it. Fish missing with potentially the biggest play ever in team history. Could potentially be sending your shamrocks into their first ever Super Bowl. Dog Croissant in the middle. One more first down does it. They do have all three timeouts or two more timeouts at this point. So they could potentially get the ball back with like a few seconds left. But oh my god, dude, what a freaking team. What a freaking series. What a freaking team of rejects. Oh my freaking god. Un freaking believable. Let's just make no mistakes here. I mean, we could still fumble and lose. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Three Archer, pick it up. Pick it up. Just slide. That's it. That's it. You're doubling Shamrocks in one of the biggest struggles in team history. Come out of here with a dub win. Oh. My God, that is the difference between season one and season two. If we played like this in season one, we probably would have lost 40 to nothing. But somehow, this team has galvanized together each player out to prove something, not only for themselves, but for the player next to them, has brought this team, the least talented team in NFL history, have brought them to an 11 and 5 season. But screw the 11 and 5 season because now we're going to be playing in the first ever Super Bowl in this series and first ever Super Bowl in Dublin Sham Rock history. I never, as the owner of this franchise, never honestly expected for this to happen. I expected maybe six, seven, eight win seasons eventually. Never an 11 and 5 Super Bowl birth season. As 2 1, boom. Go crazy, Dublin Nation. As we just achieve the impossible. As we have one more game to go. As that's just a great graphic, isn't it? Beautiful graphic, isn't it? Your Shamrocks. Get a 14 to 10 win over the most talented team in the NFL, the Kansas City Chiefs and Pat Mahomes. As we go out of here. Holding the Kansas City Chiefs at only two rushing yards all game long, 14 to 10. We have done the impossible. The Dublin Shamrocks are going to be appearing in a Super Bowl. What the heck? So final stats. One of two was worst games of his career. 8 of 21, 125 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Running the football, Dalton with 59 yards, three Archer with 42, had a pretty good game. Receiving yard wise, nothing bigger this whole entire game than Josh Gordon's touchdown to give us the lead. And defensively, screw what's happened at this point. Who cares about the tackles? Who cares about the sack? The only play that matters is Fish Smithson's interception to end off this game. The Chiefs were 30 yards away from taking the lead and destroying our hopes of the Cinderella season. They were this close to breaking our Dublin Shamrock hearts. But Fish Smithson went ice fishing today as he solidified this dub win as what a team. What a freaking team. As with the 14 to 10 victory, we're going to advance into the next week and see who your Shamrocks, I can't believe I'm saying this, but see who your Shamrocks are going to be taking on in the Super Bowl. And it's going to be the New Orleans Saints versus the Dublin Shamrocks for the Super Bowl. Their quarterback actually was quarterback number one in the Pro Bowl. So he, he's a Pro Bowler. Do we have any Pro Bowlers on our team? Just curious. Laquan McCowan was a pro bowler. This cannot get any more poetic. So Laquan McCowan looks like he might have been the only pro bowler for your Dublin Shamrocks. Is that actually true? Chance Tramiel. So how did Chance Tramiel make the pro bowl and Hayes Puller didn't? 
Anyways, that's crazy. But it looks like you're two pro bowlers for your Dublin Shamrocks. In season number two was Laquan McCowan, not even Josh Gordon, Laquan McCowan and Chance Tramiel, a rookie. What freaking scenes. But you know what? Screw a Pro Bowl. Screw a Pro Bowl at this point. As we advance into the Super Bowl week. Shamrocks, Saints, in Tampa Bay, Florida. As I do want to go and check out and see how that game went against the Giants. They won by 10. So it's the Saints, Shamrocks, for the first ever Super Bowl in team history Super Bowl 55 as what is actually going on as guys that's gonna do it Super Bowl premiere 100% is gonna be Monday 7 p.m. Monday at 7 p.m. we're gonna be premiering the first ever Super Bowl in Dublin Shamrock history hopefully guys are excited I know I am I'm nervous we made it this far, but screw making it this far if you don't hold up that Lombardi trophy. But guys, that's going to do it. Subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.